the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One day, the Prophet alayhi salatu salam, he came to the chambers of Zainab bint Jahsh, the mother of the believers, and he was frightened. The Prophet alayhi salatu salam, he was in fear. He was shaken. He was shaken up. He says, "La ilaha illa Allah." Says, "La ilaha illa Allah." There's no deity worthy of worship except Allah. He says, "Wailu lil Arab." Min sharrin qad iqtarab. Woe upon the Arabs and evil has come very close. On this day today, the wall of the Ya'juj wa Ma'juj has been opened this size. It has been opened this size. Zainab bint Jahsh radiallahu anha, she asks the following question. Listen to this question. She says, Ya Rasulallah, anahliku wa fina salihun? Are we going to be destroyed? Are we going to be finished? And they are amongst us the Salihun, the righteous people. The Prophet alayhi salatu salam replied, Naam, ida kathur al khabath. Yes, you shall be destroyed if the evil is prevalent, if the evil is a lot. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, it is very clear from this hadith that the presence of righteous people, Salihin, in a society prevents punishment and destruction from falling on that society. However, if this evil is more, it's so much, even their presence shall not benefit them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَأَنْتَ فِيهِمْ Allah says, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُهْلِكَ الْقُرَى بِظُلْمٍ وَأَهْلُهَا مُسْلِحُونَ Dear brothers and sisters, this is the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam detailing to us the virtue and the status of the salihin.